Hi, welcome to the channel. Barefoot Tuna here. This video ended up being a lot longer than I expected, but that is because I wanted to explain and show everything in detail. Right now, I'm going to give you the short version of all of this. And this is it. If you have a digital copy of Animal Crossing, or any game for that matter, there is no way to downgrade which version the game is on. If you have a physical copy, if you have a cartridge, there is a way. But it's this. You have to reformat your entire Nintendo Switch console. And you are going to lose all your save data. So it's possible to downgrade back to 1.0, but you have to restart your island. That's the gist of it. So if you want to keep watching the rest of the video, I explain how to do everything and I show how to do everything step by step so that you don't mess up. Because I don't want you guys to lose your save files for any reasons unless you understand what it is that you are doing, okay? So if you're interested, keep watching. And if not, well, maybe you should still watch just so you understand how the Nintendo Switch works with all of this. Okay, let's get to it. My previous video was about the duplication glitch in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I mentioned that in order to do the duplication glitch, your game needs to be on version 1.1.0. Today it is April 14th, 2020, and currently the game is on version 1.1.4a. In that video of the duplication glitch, I mentioned that there is potentially a way to downgrade which version your game is on. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to explain what I meant by that, and I'm going to show you how you would potentially do that. So let me start by saying this. If you have a digital copy of the game, there is no way to downgrade. The digital copy is patched forever, and it will always be that way. So the duplication glitch will not work ever again on a digital copy. Now, if you have a physical cartridge co of the game, let this focus real quick. Come on. Focus. There we go. If you have a physical now, <laughs> refocus on me. If you have a physical copy of the game, there sort of is a way to downgrade. I'm going to explain what that means. So, right now, so on this switch, I'm using the physical copy of the game. Pop it in. So I just wanted to show you guys that I, indeed, I'm using a physical cartridge on this one. I'm going to pop this into the dock and then switch my screen over so I can capture. Let's take these out. Pop this in and, and pop this into the dock. Slide these in. Waiting for my TV to activate. There we go. So now let me switch this over to my other scene. Okay, so here we go. So we're at the main menu. So I'm going to show you. Look, right now my current, my copy of Animal Crossing, as you see at the top, is on version 1.1.4. So I'm going to start the game up just so you guys see that it runs and that it's on 1.1.4. So this town, this island, this save file, it's really not that far into the game yet. So it's still in the early stages of it. So yeah, see at the top, version 1.4, 1.1.4a. Gotta mute my TV. my monitor okay so yes it's Tuesday April 14th 2020 9 51 p.m. etc uh, here's my you know crappy starting time 
underdeveloped starting town. So I just wanted to start it up so you guys can see that it runs and I am on 1.1.4. 1. 1. I'm going to save and then go back to the home menu. So as I was saying, with digital copies, the updates are part of the download of the game now. They're permanent updates. Once you have it, it's there forever. So digital copies, you can't do anything with. I'm going to close the game out. Now physical copies, with physical copies of games, you can delete the updates. So just to reiterate, just to show it again, version 1.1.4. So now I'm going to go to the settings on the switch, go to data management, manage software, and these files right here. So this Animal Crossing New Horizons file, this 320 MB, this is the updates. So if I delete this, so let me just explain something else real quick, just because I want everyone to be clear on this. Your save file for any game, it is never saved on the cartridge. Not anymore. You know, on the 3DS it was. But on the Switch, your save files, nothing is saved on the cartridge. All your saves are either on the internal memory of the Switch or on your memory card. So I have a physical copy of the game. So the updates are saved onto, right now I have it on the system memory, but I'm pretty sure you can choose to have it on the micro SD card. So anyways, this information right here, this 320 MB, that is the updates that have been released for the game. So I'm going to delete this. This will delete the update, but your save data is still intact. So I'm going to delete this update. Oh, so I have to take the cart. I have to. Uh, I have to take it out. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know that you have to take the game out. Okay, so I took it out. Go system settings, data management, manage software delete this delete this successfully deleted the software so it's gone so now so I took the cartridge out when I pop it back in it's gonna be back to version 1.0 which is what the cartridge shipped with what it released on So now I'm going to show you again. So as you can see, now I am on version 1.0.0. And here's where the tricky part is. This is where I said it's, you can sort of downgrade. It's, here's what I mean. So now when I go to play the game, my only options are to, it says a software update is required. Update data, the update data will now be downloaded. So your only options are to download the data, which is going to put you back to 1.1.4, the most current version, or you can cancel. You basically can't play the game unless you update again. And this isn't anything to do with Wi-Fi or anything. In fact, I'll show you. I'm going to go and um, go to my internet settings. I'm going to disconnect from the internet. I'm not going to go to airplane mode. I'm just going to disconnect from the internet. Okay. So the Wi-Fi is on, everything's still on. The game will not run without the update. And why is it doing this? This is because the way that the switch works is when you update a game, the switch itself 
some information gets stored on the switch itself. So the switch knows that at some point, my Animal Crossing was updated to 1.1.4. So it won't let me play the game again unless I go back to that version. Because there is some information in the system memory that tells the Switch this console was previously on this version of the game. So the game won't run unless you go back to that version. But that's not what we want. Now, I disconnected from the internet, but I'm just going to hit download here. So you can see that there's kind of really no way around this. Software update is required. So I'm gonna go to the next. So what you have to do is, uh, I, I don't want this video to drag on too long, but it's, I just want to make sure it's clear to everybody. So something in the Switch memory, like I said, tells the Switch that this game has previously been updated. So like the Switch knows that you can update. The way to get rid of that is you have to factory reset, like wipe your whole three, your whole Switch. You have to initialize it again as if you were barely taking, taking it out of the box for the first time. So that means you're going to lose all your data. When it comes to Animal Crossing, your save file is on the Switch itself and there are no cloud saves whatsoever. So to be able to play again on 1.0, you have to delete your save. You basically have to restart over. So that's why I said this was tricky. It's like it's a potential. You can downgrade again, but you have to start a new island. Now the other thing is this, so like I said, Animal Crossing does not have a save file that saves to the cloud. Other games, like Pokemon Sword and Shield for example, your save file can be saved to the cloud, but remember you have to pay for the Nintendo Online service for your save to be on the cloud. And the other thing is this, normally the way save files work is the last time you save a game, it gets associated with what version of the game it's on. So I'm just gonna make up a number. Let's say Pokemon Sword is on version 2.0 right now. So if I save my save file, and the last version I played was 2.0, the save, something in the save file says, hey, this save file is on version 2.0. So if I were to delete updates for Pokemon Sword, and then try to play the game, Chances are it's going to tell me like, oh, your save file is not compatible. You need to update this. So basically one way or another, whether so when it comes to Animal Crossing, you have to wipe your save file because there's no cloud saves. When it comes to other games that do have cloud saves, chances are that save file is not going to work anyway without re-upgrading, up, re-updating your game to the most current version. So bottom line is hopefully I haven't confused you guys is that you're most likely going to lose your save file for any game that you do this with so I'm going to go here and before I actually factory reset my whole thing I'm just going to delete the save data for Animal Crossing I'm going to delete my character I'm going to delete my town I'm going to delete my island I'm just going to do it right because I want to show you that even without save data so I just lost that character I just lost that island if I go to start the game even if there's no save data it is gonna give you the same thing a software update is required because it knows that at some point you had previously updated the game so it knows it kind of it's basically saying like hey I know you updated you can do it again So yeah, to get to the end of all this, I know it kind of, I didn't really want to drag it out like this. I just want to make sure that everybody understands all the little 
the way that everything really works. So the way to then, the, the only real way to be able to play Animal Crossing back on version 1.0 is to wipe your 3DS, your Nintendo Switch. I keep saying 3DS. So you're going to go settings all the way at the bottom, system, all the way at the bottom, formatting options, initialize console. So this will all data in the system memory, including software, save data, screenshots, videos, everything is going to be deleted and restored to factory console settings. So you have to go through with this. And actually, you know, I wanted to un unlink. I'm going to connect it back to the internet because I want this to unlink my. Uh, well, actually, no, 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 I don't. No, let me see. Let me see if there's a way to do it. Let me see if there's a way to do this. Because this is not my main console anyway, so I don't. I guess maybe you do have to connect to the internet. Wait. It's my system transferred everything. Whatever, just f for the sake of doing this right, I'm going to connect back to the internet. So let me switch back here. So I can put in my password. Alrighty, I connected back to the internet. Now I'm gonna go through with this. Formatting options, initialize console. Next. <clears throat> initialize. So I actually do have two switches just to kind of show. So my, the Animal Crossing one. This is my main switch, my main town, my main island is on this. So the red and blue switch is my secondary console. So right now, the island on there is just like an experimental town. So I'm just kind of messing around with it. This is going to take seven minutes, so I'm going to just fast forward to when it's done. Okay, so look, the switch is starting back up. It's telling me I have to do it, take it out of the dock. So let me do that. So I have to do the setup out of the dock. So I'm gonna go through the setup of this and then I'll get it back on the dock and I'll fast forward to that part.
Let's go through with this. So let's see where we're... Okay, so the council is up and running again. Let's see what version this game is on. Okay, so the game is on version 1.1.4, what I was afraid of. So what happened is because I connected to the inter because I connected to the internet on during the setup, it automatically downloaded any updates. That's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna have to reinitialize again. Alrighty, so actually. I didn't have to reinitialize everything. All I had to do was go back to the data management. So I'm going to take the cartridge out again. So if you reinitialize and you connect to the internet, it's going to automatically download the updates again. But all you're going to want to do is take your cartridge out. Go back to data management, manage software, delete the update again before you start the game, before you start the game. So there's no update files left here. I would also suggest you go to system and then on the system and then auto update software, set that to off so that your game won't auto update by itself. So there, once you delete that again, once you delete that again, you can then go and start up the game. So as you can see, it's on version 1.0, start of the game. It's gonna ask you here, it's gonna tell you there's an update, just don't download it. Just don't download it just start the software here you go you have to pick a user and there we go so the game is running on 1.0 so i can if i want to i will be able to do the duplication glitch yes the downside to all this is that you have to start all over you have to get rid of your town you have to get rid of your save file your character everything poof poof you have to obliterate just to be able to go back to this version of the game. So that's why I said it was like, there sort of is a way to do it, but obviously you're gonna lose everything. So whether you actually want to do this or not, I know it's gonna be very situational. Not everyone is gonna wanna restart their town. But if you ever do, and you ever wanna have that option to duplicate items again, just do this first and, and then get to the point in the game, duplicate the stuff you want and then update your game and then you'll be back online with everybody else. But yeah, so hopefully this video didn't end up too long. I just really, really wanted to explain everything in detail. I hope this helped you. If it did, I would appreciate likes, comments, subscribes, etc. This is my second town. It's my experimental town. So now that I have done this and I have to restart, I'm actually going to do sort of a speed run of this. I'm going to try to get a KK slider as fast as possible. I'm not going to focus too much on layouts and, and placing buildings. You know, I'm just going to drop everything and go kind of as quickly as I can. So if that's something you would want to watch. Follow me on Twitch. If... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Or I might, I'll probably eventually end up posting those videos as well on this channel. But yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's just, blah. So that's, yeah. So that's the end of that. Thank you for watching. Let me just go. Let me just do the outro. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the channel for more tips and tricks for Animal Crossing. And for whatever other games I choose to play in the future. Until next time. Barefoot Tuna. Barefoot Tuna out.